All right, so you have people talking about the ugly word inflation when it comes to saving, investing. So what I'm going to do is break it down to you why when it comes to saving and investing that you should choose both instead of one or the other. So watch my video to the end to find out my reasons why both of them are as good as good as anything else. Don't forget to crush the like button, become a subscriber, and make sure to hit that bell and that notification for my latest content and share this with friends, family, so we can beat the algorithm and be able to share this with more people on YouTube and on social media. All right, so welcome back to my channel. For those who are not familiar who I go by, I go by one chief compadre. And you're watching Chief Compadre TV or on my channel. We talk about savings, investing, politics, and even story time. So I want to go ahead and make this video because I'm starting to see a trend on social media where you have people who are trying to come fear into you about inflation. Now, when it comes to inflation, is it true? Yes, it is. It is evidence of inflation making the value of the U.S. currency to lose its value. That is absolutely true from how the feds are pumping out money to stimulate the economy by printing these stimulus checks to individuals who make $75,000 or less are couples that make 150000 So the main question is, should you save or should you invest your money? Now, to me, you will think there will be a clear-cut answer to that because everyone seems to say the same thing is that you should not have your money in a savings account because that money is being used as a loan for the bank so they can charge interest on it to make money off of the money that you have in your account while you only making 0.1 percent that is all true and it's all irrelevant but at the same time money that you have saved is to allow you to have a peace of mind at the end of the day do you know that there's so many people out here who are stressed out because they're not able to pay their rent their mortgage put food on the table because they don't know when their next paycheck will come because they're not working. Millions of people are out of work. Many of people are still in their homes due to the uh, moratorium. So they are just taking day by day and to reality sets in where they could be evicted from their home. So for me, it's really not that difficult. When it comes to saving, 
we know that it loses its value. We know that the banks are not going to give you decent interest rate on the value of your money sitting in the bank. We all know that. We all understand that. And we all understand that saving money is not going to make you wealthy. But let me tell you what saving money can do for you. One, it'll stop you from using credit because we all know when we use credit, that means that we're going to owe someone. And when we owe someone, it's going to be an interest onto that money that we owe. So not only is that that person is going to make money from the loan, but on top of that, they're going to earn interest off of that loan. Secondly, when it comes to saving, saving is not a way to become wealthy, but it is a way to avoid getting caught in that trap of credit. When you have access to money, when there's an emergency, you can sleep much better at night. For example, your car can break down. Let me give you an example. Now, I know that people tell you when it comes to loans that you should hurry up and pay it. But at the same time, when you hurry up and pay it, majority of the time, you're left with no money. So if there's something that happens once you pay off your student loans, then that can cause you to go back into borrowing again and back to debt. So what I decided before I paid off my student loans, because I could have paid off my student loans very early, quicker than I did, but I decided to go into investing and along with savings because once I'm done paying off the student loan, I wanted to have some money left over just in case of emergency. And lo and behold, when I paid it off, my car broke down. So luckily, I had money saved to pay for that car repair. Now, say, for example, I didn't save and the car broke down. So that meant that I would have to go in to either asking somebody for a loan or using credit cards in order to repair my car. But luckily, I had money saved, so I was able to sleep at night knowing that that repair was covered, not by a bank, not by anyone else, but by me. So when it comes to saving, if you ask me, or you can ask uh, Mark Cuban because he said the exact same thing on Earn Your Leisure interview where he said that Americans need to have a savings in case of emergency so you'll be able to sleep at night. So if a billionaire can tell you to slave money, how can an average person like myself or anyone else tell you not to? And this is a person who's a billionaire. So if you ask me, when it comes to saving and investing, I will tell you to do both. It makes no sense for a person to decide over the other. Because it is true. It is the inflation out there. Your money is going down. It's losing value. That is so true. In the banks, you have 0.1% interest where you're definitely not going to make that much money off the money you save. But it's not for all that. To save money is not for all that. To save money is to help you when there's a rainy day. When there's an emergency. Say, for example, family member is sick and you need to go out there 
to uh, help that person, nurse them back to health, you can do that. Say, for example, your car break down and it needs repairs because we all know that these commercials with these uh, car warranties is a ripoff because they have you pay in to these warranties. But when it comes to repairs, then they turn around and say, oh, we don't take care of that part. We don't do that part. But yet you spend all this money and you stuck holding a car that needs repair so it's better off you save your money because you can be your own insurance company instead of these insurance companies that taking advantage of you and on top of that they want you to pay a, a certain fee before they can use that money to pay for repair so won't you be the insurance company and have money on hand so in case something happens you can take care of it instead of going through all these obstacles to get money to pay for something then if you own a house many things can happen around a house that need repair okay you have the roof okay you may need to paint your house you may have the water heater that breaks you may have plumbing all these issues can arrive so that is the main reason why and oh let, let me also say that we can have a pandemic. Hello, a pandemic, right? So, in a time of need when millions of people were out of work and trying to look for work and couldn't find work, that is when that save money could be a cushion. They say four, six, eight months, but if you ask me, I will tell you to save as much as you can. There's no limit. And at the same time, there's no limit when it comes to investing. That's where you get your high interest rate. So when it comes to investing, that's where you get your money. That's where you get the high interest rate for your money, not the banks. So when it comes to investing, you just got to determine what goal you are trying to set for yourself. Once you determine that, then all you need to do is go on CNBC. Look on the list of companies that they're talking about. See which ones work for you. If that doesn't work, you go to Google. You type in what you want to go into, what you want to invest in. Is it individual stocks? Is it ETFs? Is it index funds? You type in a list, maybe 10, 20, 30. And then you determine which ones that you are interested in. Before you start investing, look them up, find out if they are a reputable company, how much do they have on hand? As far as assets, are they in the um, couple million dollar caps? Are they in the billion dollar caps? How much debt they owe? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then you decide on how much you're willing to spend on a certain uh, company how much you willing to spend on their shares? Are you willing to spend twenty dollars? Are you willing to spend thirty dollars a share or a hundred? You name it. Are you willing to spend fifty thousand dollars a share? Are you looking for just the um, fraction of a share? So you had to determine all of that. So we all know that when we invest, the more shares you have, the more money you are able to make. Not the opposite. Okay. Now, you have to understand that the individuals who are really making a killing are the ones who buy a particular stock at the bottom, not at when it's at the high. That's the worst time to buy something. Now, many people use cost average, but for me, I like to wait, and I'm going to wait a few uh, weeks and months because I feel in my bones that something's about to happen. And when it do, that's when I'm going to come in because that will be the opportunity to invest. Right now, things are overpriced like Eli Musk said. If a billionaire tell you it's overpriced, it probably is. So if I was you, I would listen to him. Hold off whatever you made from this uh, GameStop AMC. I will take it off the table. Just sit and wait. 
And I will tell you, be careful of trying to uh, collude with other individuals and invest in certain stocks to drive it up because in a few weeks, I guarantee that they're going to come up with regulations and they're going to use some people as examples to let you know that if you decide that you want to go into these uh, social media platforms and these groups, Clubhouse, Reddit, you name it, and try to pump people up and get people to uh, invest in a particular stock, guaranteed sooner or later, someone's going to be held accountable for that. So if I was you, I would try to avoid that. And I will try to avoid trying to buy things at the high. And let it fall, let it drop, and that's when you go in to make a real killing. This is where the real investor separates from the retail investor. So until then, crush the like button, become a subscriber, share this with your family and friends so you can have a clear understanding about saving and investing the right way. Have a great day.